Hello everyone, uh, my name is Marcos Costa and I was part of the team the, that went to Makatea with Maiwan and it was an incredible experience and I have a couple of questions here that uh, the team asked me uh, to share with you guys before the film is released. Perhaps Makatea did not challenge you grade-wise, but has the project challenged you in any other ways? Well. Well, Makete in itself, it's really a remote island and just getting there was a pretty big mission. Um, it's in the middle of the Pacific, the South Pacific, and I was flying, I believe, from China or from Asia. So I had to fly from Asia to New Zealand and New Zealand to Makete. It took, I don't know, 30 hours or so. Uh, so that was challenging in itself, but I think uh, we were there for six weeks and I think one aspect that it was kind of challenging for me that they ended up actually bringing out creativity in me was the food situation. We're all used to our staple diets and the things that we like to have for breakfast every day and for lunch and dinner and things like that. And I know some people have food restrictions. They can't eat meat or they can't eat gluten or this and that. And we were there for six weeks, and because the island is kind of remote, we had to deal with what was available. So I ended up eating a lot of coconut, a lot of papaya, <laughs> and I ended up learning how to cook those two things in all kinds of ways. You know, roasted, grilled, barbecued, sautéed, raw, and it was just cool to... To try and get by with such a limited diet. I mean, limited for me or for for those of us who are used to all the comforts of of the world, you know, of being able to go to the supermarket and get whatever you want. So that was kind of challenging in a way, but it was also interesting to go through this experience because these kinds of experiences are what makes us grow, you know. So that was pretty fun. How did you feel about being part of uh, Maiwan's large ecotourism development project and spending time in quite a different cultural setting than your own? Well, uh, for me, this was the most rewarding part of the project, actually. Um, I've traveled a lot all around the world. I've climbed everywhere. Uh, I lived in a few different cultures. I've lived in China, in the US, in Korea, in Hong Kong. Uh, now I'm living in Europe and I'm originally from Brazil. So I've, I've been around quite a bit. And being to Makatea was really special in a sense that the island, it's way out there. It's an island. So the, the, by definition, it, uh, it's pretty secluded from everyone. And it has a very distinct culture. And once I learned about the history of Makatea, I was really touched. Actually, Makatea had its identities taken away from them. They were um, kind of like a mining, um, phosphate-producing island for quite a long time. And since the 1960s, that phosphate a producing company left Makatea and that was what gave them their identity to produce this phosphate. So all of the income, the work, the culture revolved around this industry. And since the company left, they were kind of left with this hole that they didn't know how to fill. So I felt that they didn't have an identity and this project was to help them regain an identity as an island that uh, provides ecotourism, climbing, caving, swimming, snorkeling, and it's a sustainable way that will provide the locals with an income, with uh, with an, something that they can relate to, you know, the, so Makatea's new identity would be one of ecotourism and protecting the environment and enjoying the outdoors, and I thought that was really it was really rewarding to be part of this project because in a sense we were there to guide them to, to not only to guide them but also to allow this to happen you know to build the the first routes to build the via ferrata to explore all of the natural wonders that the island had to offer and kind of make a structure where the locals could use this as 
their livelihood. So that was really, really um, gratifying to be part of that project. And also another thing that was incredible, and that's part of uh, also the question number three, which was a memorable moment or an experience that you had to share. Well, one was this, being part of this project. And since we were on the island for six weeks, I don't think that anyone has been in the island on, on Makatea for that long since 1960s. Okay, most of the tourists that, tourists that come to Makatea, they come for one or two days while they're like island hopping around the Pacific. So they come, they stay one or two days, they hike around. And I feel that the locals never got a chance to actually bond with any of those tourists or any of those people. And we were the first people, I guess, or the first big group to stay in the island for six weeks. So after a while, um, they, we kinda, the locals kind of dropped this barrier that they had built because obviously they wouldn't want to be friends or get in touch with these tourists because they would come to the island, stay two days and leave and they would never be seen again. So there was no interest for them to even connect, right? Like uh, besides uh, some monetary incentive as a tourist for them, there was no you know, no interest in connecting. And because we were there for six weeks, we were actually able to become friends with them and to make a really bonding experience. And that for me was really incredible that we got to become friends and that they got to experience and to meet people from all different cultures. And I thought that was really, really, really touching actually, especially in the end when we left, we could see that their eyes were all teary and so were our eyes, you know, so that was, that was really gratifying. And another memorable experience that I had uh, that was completely apart from my climbing life was actually while we're, I was swimming. Um, I was swimming in the portal by myself. I was actually, I just had like a swimming goggles on. I didn't even have a snorkel. So I had, I held my breath and I was swimming underwater and I see this huge shark and actually you guys are going to see it on the movie, the footage of this really big shark. That was me. So I was, <laughs> I was on my own and I see this shark for the first time in the wild. And that was really memorable because I felt completely vulnerable and I didn't know what to do. I mean, I've surfed for five years or so, but I, I've never seen a shark three, four meters away from me while I'm swimming on my own. <laughs> so that was really memorable. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the film. You're going to see it soon. And you're going to see what an incredible place that was, um, Makatea. So enjoy the film and see you out there. Bye.